Just about every guy I know has a shop or a workbench where he can tinker. If you go down the road to Clarendon, you can find just such a place where pieces of steel, silver, iron, or just about any metal is transformed through the artist's hands of Kevin Johnson. He started trying his hand almost 10 years ago. Most bit and spur makers at the time didn't share too many secrets, but he spoke with local craftsman Bill Homer who helped him out. It is a hard road trying to learn to do that and get the respect of not only the cowboys, but more so the makers. Boy, they're the critical guys. Now he starts out each day after lunch, working into the early morning hours, creating or etching just about anything out of metal from bits and spurs to baby gifts and badges. Well, in the course of a year, it can be up to several thousand items, actually, if I'm uh, kind of not your conventional bit and spur maker. And the reason is, is because I do a wide variety of stuff. I've, I've done things that I never thought I'd build in this business. And, uh, you know, from items to go on in somebody's dog collar for their cow dog, uh, uh, all the way up to I built President Bush set of spurs when he was in office. Built badges, um, watch tips, key fobs, uh, bits, spurs, buckles. Um, I've even built silver spoons for babies when they're born. And everything is custom made, one of a kind. Kevin says he wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I'd rather make one item and get $500 for it than I would have to make 10 items and get that same $500, you know, as, as long as I put that quality in. And, and that's, that's where that comes from. That's why I like to do everything, finish it out. It's not about the dollar. I think I, I, think I donate and give more out of this shop than uh, I ever sell. <laughs> but I, I, I'm pretty proud of the fact that when somebody comes in and orders something, it's made by me. Um, and it's made right here. There's nobody else working on it. And, uh, but uh, I, I'm proud of the fact it's made right here by me. His three kids occasionally come by and tinker with him and says his youngest son is showing some real talent. The bar is already being set pretty high though as his work is known worldwide and as one former client refers to him. Man, you're like the Orange County choppers of the bit and spur world, you know. <laughs> 14 hour days, muscles, fingers, and mind numbing work at times. This isn't a job for everyone. Every piece is a challenge because every piece I make it for the person that orders it. Uh, but it seems to have been forged for Kevin. I think this is probably the toughest job I've ever done. And in the reflection of his work in the panhandle spirit, Steve Myers, Pro News 7.